investigating vandalism at an upstate business, and it's not the first time they've been hit. 7 News' Sophia Radebaugh shows us the damage. Well, you can see the vandalism here on the fence. I'm not going to show you the full thing because there is some vulgar language here, but this word says Taliban, and it's the second time it's happened here at Upstate Granite Solutions this year, and the owner says he's determined to find out who it is. Back in September, Upstate Granite Solutions set up a memorial with a representation of the Twin Towers and the words never forget to honor the victims of 9-11. As a company, we are very patriotic. We're very um, proud supporters of our veterans, of our law enforcement. The morning after 9-11, owner Paul Nichols says they found strange symbols and the word Taliban written in spray paint on the memorial. Kind of, kind of upset. At, the, at first and uh, still am a little bit flustered. They cleaned it off, but Nichols said they were scarred and law enforcement was never able to figure out who it was. Unfortunately, that those leads just did not turn any uh, specific suspects up. Fast forward to early Saturday morning, the same messaging this time found on their fence. A sentence with vulgar language saying something along the lines of never forget who won the Taliban. The Greenville County Sheriff's Office says they're investigating what they call malicious damage. Captain Jimmy Bolt tells us an unknown suspect walked up after parking nearby and spray painted the fence at 2.30 in the morning. Now we understand this person's message and it's not one that, that we are uh, agreeable to and uh, one that um, we're actually in, in great opposition of. Nichols says he's tired of the disrespect and is determined to work with law enforcement to hold someone accountable. We're not going to back down uh, just because this person is, is back at it. That doesn't mean we're going to step back. We're not going to back down from what uh, what what we uh, want to support and what our, our flag stands for. We're one nation under God. We are we're going to unify around that. And I think the majority, uh, the overwhelming majority of our community is going to, to rally around us as well. Upstate Granite Solutions says they are getting help from the Greenville County Sheriff's Office to find answers, but they also want your help. If you know anything or saw anything, you're asked to contact the Greenville County Sheriff's Office immediately. In Greenville, Sophia Radebaugh, 7 News. The owner says they are now working to put more security cameras on the building and also some along Highway 123. Anderson County Deputy